Bhagavad Gita 5.22 Die Istans was Jabo Gaudukyane Evate Adyanta Fantakantya Nati Shua Mate Buddha An intelligent person does not take part in the source of misery which are due to contact with the material in the senses. Person of Kunti Such pleasures have a beginning and an end so the wise man does not de delight in them. So the wise man is attached for, for material enjoyment. And Lord Krishna gives one reason in a purport. Pleasures have a beginning and an end. They are temporary. So, Kalat Maharaj's teaching is uh, schoolmates and he gives more uh, evidence, uh, more points that will help us to increase our detachment for material enjoyment. First he says, since the opportunity of human life is temporary, he's telling his schoolmates, what benefit can all these material opulences give to a sensible man, sensible man who has understood himself to be eternal? That, uh, so what benefit can all this sense gratification give us in the next life? No. You get just the karma from it to the next life. But uh, Palat Marge makes a point the advancement of material civilization have done nothing to remedy the inevitability, inevitability of birth, death, old age, and disease. These problems have not been solved. But, uh, also, those who strive for heavenly pleasures, that uh, they must understand that's not the goal of life, to go to the heavenly planets and, and back. That, uh, and one will get the opposite of what one desires. The results when obtained will be the frustration that that's also the point made by Arjuna in the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. I see just disasters coming. I, I, I want to have a flourishing kingdom and, and enjoy with my family members, but now I see I will get the opposite. That. And then Pallad Maharaj said, as, one is happy as long as one does not endeavor for sense for happiness. And that's interesting. If you endeavor for sense gratification, for enjoyment, the, for, the, for the body in this world, it makes you miserable. But, uh, another point, Palat Marge said, the body is a property of others indeed. The personal body embraces the living entity and then leaves him aside. So this body is not ours, it's material nature. It goes back to material nature. That, uh, yes, it's very temporary. The body is meant to be eaten by dogs, jackals and moths and turned into a useless stool, ashes, or earth. So we, if we live to give pleasure of the body, that's the destination of the body. Then Palat Maharaj makes a point, what's the value of paraphernalia related to the body, such as wives, residences, wealth, children, relatives, servants, friends, kingdoms, treasures, animals, and ministers? You see, when Maharaj breaks it was cursed to death, he had only seven days to live. He gave it up one moment of another. It has no use. But, uh, they are temporary. They are temporary relationships also, very temporary. 
that uh, everyone was a little old, older, I can see. And one was young, so many relationships existed, but it's all gone. It's all temporary. That's and what what is what is what is then our interest, uh Pallad Maharaj concludes, in, in doing these activities for enjoyment. It gives us just hardship and misery. What gives us real satisfaction is engagement in pure devotional service that uh, that cleanses the heart, that gives satisfaction and makes us focus on the path of spiritual realization. So these points are important. We need to hear that over, uh, over again and again. Otherwise, we act in illusion and that is the cause of suffering. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Sai Shilapopa.